What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, and this week on The Drill, I'm playing with a, a free plugin called Hot4D. Um, and for those of you that do stick around to the end, you'll see um, uh, that ev not every time you uh, explore around, you come out with something cool. So my final render here, I think, is a bit of a mess. Um, I, I was playing with Hot4D. I got a little lazy with some of the... Th there's a lot you can do with this... Um, um, there's a, a great tutorial out there that uh, utilizes thinking particles to get a realistic ocean spray um, and that will be in the show notes down below um, and I'm actually going to do a redo on this and, and kind of head back into it and dive into it a little bit more play with it a little bit more I think the um, the ocean waves that came out look I think look really cool and it's really easy to do them really quickly but I just felt like there's uh, you know there's a lot more that can be done at, at least with this render and so that's what I was doing here. I started to model. I was looking at uh, like bridges that cross oceans or you know big waterways. So I uh, just modeled some struts quickly um, and started to lay in a road and with uh, some curbs and stuff like that. Went on uh, Polygon.com and pulled. They have some great uh, road materials. So uh, I actually went on there, pulled off some materials, and started to build um, a realistic roadway. I think uh, the problem I have ultimately with this render is the the water is animated in a cool way, um, but without any uh, of the foam or the crest of the ocean, especially how how uh, you know the waves cresting, especially how quick everything's moving, I think it just looks a little weird. Um, so it's this high uh, telephoto uh, lens, high angle with a telephoto lens. Um, <clears throat> on this bridge, uh, almost an isometric view, uh, just looking down. And um, what I wanted to do was just spice it up, kind of. Uh, so I, I went with the X particles emitter um, and threw some tracers on that so that I could get some trails. And then I just started to throw some basic primitives on those trail paths um, and animated those along the path with a cloner, uh, just to. Uh, like I said, I don't I don't know what was going on with this one. I thought maybe. It would look cool to have these kind of like, I don't know, spheres or pill. I think I ultimately went with uh, cubes just kind of floating by this like highway. I think it would have been a lot cooler if, uh, I think there's some scaling issues with my water and the actual highway because those are like huge waves. And if those waves were that big, I think you'd get a lot more cresting. So like I said, I want to redo this one, go back in and uh, take a look at um, how we could add a little more depth to the ocean. but. You know, besides that, the uh, the plugin I will have in the show, mo show notes down below as well. It's a free plugin, um, and it's just really amazing what it is able to do to, to give you like a, a really cool water look. So I think the water looks really cool. I think the cubes even look pretty cool. Um, it's just, it's, you know, it's plain and boring, and it uh, just goes to show you that it's not... You know, you don't always get something cool, but I think if you learn a little along the way, you can start to pick apart your work and uh, realize what's crappy about it. So I hope uh, you guys did enjoy the episode, though. Um, I appreciate the watch and, uh, you know, your comments down below. We're almost at 500 subscribers. And um, what I am planning on doing is releasing my first tutorial, hopefully in the next uh, week or so. Um, that will be off of my um, most popular video, which is the uh, displacement, you know, doing an animated displacement uh, with Octane, um, and I'll show you how to do, how I did that process. So that's all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.